the disgusting truth comes out about the Obamas after what they were seen doing on 4th of July. This is truly unbelievable in every sense of the word. The charlatan from Kenya that is former President Barack Hussein Obama and his scumbag of a wife who was never proud of her country until the ignorant leftists in the Democrat Party decided it would be a great idea to nominate a non-American to run for president are taking heavy criticism after this past 4th of July holiday. While most every American celebrated the 241st birthday of our United States of America with countless patriotic posts on social media to honor those who have made it possible to become an independent nation, Barry Soitero and his Huchi Mama of a wife are the ones who garnered the most notice. Both the Kenyan and his anti-American wife were 100% silent, without even one mention of our most patriotic of holidays. Michelle Obama was born and raised here. But our new First Lady, Melania Trump, who wasn't, has more patriotism in one finger than the Mooch has in her entire body. See the difference? Of course, Mooch was extremely proud when her husband was nominated, she saw the opportunity they had coming. Dollar. Judicial watch breaks down the cost of the Obamas' lavish vacations while they resided in the White House for eight long years. Obama family vacation breaks the bank at taxpayer expense. I hope your Christmas and holiday season has been wonderful. The Christmas holidays are a busy time of year for judicial watch because corrupt politicians and bureaucrats often leak embarrassing scandal information during a time when many Americans aren't focused on the news, and many reporters are on vacation. Sure enough, we received a Christmas document dump from the Secret Service about Obama's travel costs. If the hope was to bury the information, it failed as our JW team got the word out and gained headlines across the globe. How would you like to vacation in Hawaii on the taxpayer dime every Christmas? Would your employer give you a nearly three-week break to do so? Barack Obama and his family vacation every year in Hawaii, and now we have more of the outrageous costs you incur for his time in Hawaii. This week we received expense records from the Department of Homeland Security revealing that Secret Service expenses for the Obama family vacation to Honolulu during December 2013-January 2014 cost taxpayers at least $316,698.03. These new expense records bring the total for the Hawaii Christmas vacation trip to $8,098,060.33. The Secret Service waited nearly two years to produce the requested numbers to Judicial Watch. The records were mailed to us on December 22, but it took the U.S. Postal Service six days to deliver them a few miles across town to our offices on December 28. The heavily redacted records were in response to a January 6, 2014, Freedom of Information Act FOIA, request. According to the records, $91,751.78 in car rental expenses were paid. $224,974.05 in accommodation expenses were paid to Cabana Girl, LLC and Paradise Luxury Rentals. The documents are heavily redacted and the Secret Service is withholding 28 pages in their entirety. Saying he was eager to skip town Obama took his family to Honolulu on December 20, 2013, for a 17-day Christmas vacation. As detailed at the time by the Washington Post, the presidential motorcade ferried the Obamas across Oahu, the state's most populous island, to the well-to-do oceanfront neighborhood of Kailua, whereas in years past they have rented a private home for what this time will be a 17-day holiday vacation. For the sixth straight year, Obama plans to spend Christmas and New Year's in Hawaii, gathering with extended family and friends, and, yes, perfecting his golf game. Obama is right now in Hawaii on another Christmas vacation. His golf games must be the most expensive in history. In March 2014, Judicial Watch released flight expense records from the U.S. Department of the Air Force revealing that for the 2013 Hawaii vacation the Obamas incurred $7,781,361.30 in flight expenses alone, 36.9 hours at $210,877 an hour.
This was the first Judicial Watch FOIA request about Obama's security costs the Secret Service has answered since July, 2014. Our efforts investigating Obama travel began back in 2009 when we obtained the Secret Service costs of the Obama State Night in New York City. Click here for our various Obama travel exposes. Meanwhile, most everyone I know hasn't been able to afford to take a vacation since George W. Bush was president. If you ask me, the low-life scumbags that are the former president and first lady should be thanking and honoring our founders each and every day for giving him, someone who wasn't even fit to sell ice cream on a street corner, the opportunity at having the honor of leading our great nation. A nation who elected him not because of the content of his character, but because of the color of his skin. His skin.